Hi everybody and welcome to another of my 6th edition Adepta Sororitas or Sisters of Battle videos. This time we're talking about Seraphim. Yes, Seraphim, one of the most important units in the game after Battle Sisters. These are Tetragrammaton clerics using gun katas with jump packs. And that's what they do. Uh, here's how I'd use them. First, you have your battle sisters in their fortifications holding down your side of the table. Either your table corners or your objectives, which preferably you should have put on your side of the table. That's your static defense. They hold that. These ladies, they force the player to contest their side of the table. So that you now have basically a war on two fronts. Two fronts. One is they have to come and break through your fortress. The other is they have to deal with these women on their side of the table. Just raising holy hell over there. See, here's one of mine. Here's my, my one of my, my veteran, veteran sister superior uh, seraphim. Yep. That's how they look. Customized, obviously. Boom! Power sword and plasma pistol. Always take full squads if you can. Here's why. Or uh, oh, and for my HQ, which I'll, that's another video, I take the living saint. She counts as jump infantry, independent character. She joins a full squad of seraphim. Ow. <clears throat> um. So there they go. They're the ones that force them to contest. And then instead of bringing them all up to their walls, focusing on you, you go over there. And you should be killing troop choices. Kill their troop choices. Okay, don't go after the warlords or anybody like that, even though you probably could. Kill the troop choices. If they lose troop choices in a quadrant or something like that, and they can't claim that table corner object that objective anymore, while yours are still sitting behind your walls on the other side of the table, you win. That's what these ladies should be doing. Killing troop choices. Which should be very easy to do with, uh, with, the, with the living saint put into them. Also, upgrade them. Upgrade them to the Holy Trinity. All of the special weapons. And if you don't remember, Holy Trinity is Flamers. Melta. Bolter. Two. Seraphim. Can be upgraded to uh, Melta pistols. Two. Seraphim can be upgraded to flamer pistols. One veteran uh, superior can have plasma pistol. That's five of them right there. Five of them. Ow. Somebody tries. It's just ow. And they also get their plus one attack. They're also jump infantry. So they get the, all of the attacks on that as well too for jumping in. Uh, they come with both grenades. They they don't get warhams because they don't have they can't put a priestess in their squad, so they have a built-in warham, really, uh, called angelic visage, which allows them to re-roll re any failed uh, armor of faith rolls. If you don't remember, that's their six plus and vulnerable roll. So. There you go. They reroll all failed those. So you've got basically a double tap on your 6+. plus. This can make them hard to kill. They then have also their Act of Faith, which is, um, I forget, but I'll tell you what it does. It gives them all shred for a round, um, which is nice. Now, I'm going to – yeah, nice. Actually, I have to look it up, but I'm not sure if that shred is limited only to hand-to-hand. -hand. I believe you might be able to pop it in the shooting phase and give your shooting weapons shred, your uh, which, which would be nice. I'm not going to go look it up now, but either way, shred. Uh, there are already BS4, WS4. They're all going to come with two hits. Um, I prefer to rapid fire, you know, that's what they do the hit and run for, but they can also hold their own in, in melee, of course, with, uh, with the weapon skill four. The, the big thing again is that they have that three plus armor save and you're going up against other troops, which should 
allow you and with to with your invulnerable saves this is what they are still for so this is the vanguard of the sisters army i'm going to repeat put your fortifications on your side of the table either hold the corners or hold the objectives over there as many as you can place have several preferably three squads of seraphim cruising to the other side of the table to contest those if there's nothing to contest if you've got some other freaky mission or you or uh, uh, then go after the heavy weapons go after any weapon that can shoot through a uh, bastion or fortress of redemption wall because you take care you get out of those and um, it's that much harder to get to onto your side of the table these are the girls to do it these are the ones the ladies that should be uh, deep striking in to the other side of the table to cause problems for people big 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 problems for people and they can usually do it on the turn that they deep strike in with with their firing with the boulder pistols with rapid fire with owies um, that's how I use them to their greatest effect uh, I'm, I'm going to save the combo with the Living Saint for the video that I make about her. But yes, definitely you should have two sides of your army. One holding static defense, let them come to you. The Seraphim going out and just bringing the pain and contesting corners and objectives on the other side of the table. Just, they are so good at it. Sorry! I'm going on a rant because it's one of my favorite armies. Very good army. Everybody should like them. And the ones that don't, yes, this is what you're going to be doing when you beat them. That's what it is. Because it's, it's just that much sweeter when they think you suck. Video on Seraphim. I'm going to complete the codex on this too. See you next time. Bye.